Hi guys, let's learn the five common types of ACEs that you might get in your IELTS examination. You must be well prepared with each of the ACE type so that out of the five, if one comes in your examination, you can ace it. So in this video, we are going to just briefly know about the five types of ACEs. You can follow this slide to understand the five total types of ACEs. The first one is known as agree or disagree AC, which is also referred as opinion AC. Agree or disagree AC, also known as opinion AC. The second type we have is advantage and disadvantage AC. The third type we have is problem and solution AC. The fourth one we have is discussion AC, which is also known as discuss both point of views. Please know one thing guys, discussion AC is known as discuss both point of views. And the last one is two part questions, which is also known as direct question. So these are the total five types of ACs that you must remember. Let's revise. The first one is problem solution AC. The second one is advantage disadvantage AC. The third one is discussion AC, which is also known as discuss both point of views. The fourth one is agree or disagree AC, which is also known as opinion AC. The last one is two parts question or direct question. These are the total five types of ACs that you might get in your examination. However, you should also remember one thing that out of these five types of ACs, Two of the types of ACs are further classified into basic and advanced. So let's understand what are the two types of ACs that has been further classified into basic and advanced. The two types of ACs that has been further classified as basic and advanced are first is agree or disagree, second is advantage and disadvantage AC. In case of advantage and disadvantage AC, let's take an example. So in case of this AC type, this particular AC type has been classified into two types. One is basic, another is advanced. Now how do we know whether you have got advanced advantage disadvantage AC or basic advantage disadvantage AC is by looking at the question. If the question directly tells you to write down advantage and disadvantage, it is basic advantage disadvantage AC. So in basic, the question will directly tell you to write down advantage and disadvantage where you are going to write down introduction to body paragraph and conclusion two advantages and two disadvantages your AC is balanced now in case of advanced advantage disadvantage AC this time the tax or the question will tell you do the advantages outweigh the drawbacks so if you see the word outweigh which means to be more outweigh means to be more if the question tells you are there more advantages than disadvantages or they might also tell you are there more disadvantages than advantages if they ask you which one is more then this is advanced advantage disadvantage AC here you need to plan in a way where you are either putting advantages in more advantages more or you are either putting disadvantages more here the structure would look like this introduction two body paragraph and conclusion if you think advantages are more you are going to give two advantages and only one disadvantage it means you think advantages are more but you might also plan in a way where you think there are no there are more disadvantages than advantage in this case you think there are more disadvantages than advantage in case of advanced advantage disadvantage AC, the body paragraph will not be balanced. But in case of basic advantage disadvantage AC, your body paragraph will always be balanced. So let's revise. In basic advantage disadvantage AC, you need to give two advantages and two disadvantages. The body paragraph should be balanced. In advanced advantage disadvantage AC, the tax or the question will tell you which one is more advantage or disadvantage. Instead of telling more, they might use the word outweigh, which means to be more. Do the advantages outweigh the disadvantage? If you see this in your question, you need to understand that this is advanced advantage disadvantage AC, where you need to make either advantages more or you need to make either disadvantages more. One should be more than the other. Are you clear? 
Now let's learn about agree or disagree AC. This AC has also been further classified as basic and advanced. If the tax or if the question directly tells you, do you agree or disagree? If the question or the tax directly tells you, do you agree or disagree? You only have one option that is either completely agree or completely disagree. You have you have two total choices, but out of the two choices, that is, first is you can completely agree or you can completely disagree. You can't choose both. You need to only pick one option. In basic agree disagree essay, you only have one option that is either completely agree or completely disagree. If you completely agree, you are going to do, you are, you are going to structure like this. Introduction, one reason why you agree, another reason why you agree, done. If you completely disagree, you are giving reasons why you disagree. So in case of agree disagree AC, the rule is very simple. You need to either completely agree or completely disagree. But in case of advanced agree disagree AC, the tax will always be telling you to what extent do you agree or disagree. The tax will always be tell telling you to what extent do you agree or disagree. So if you see this in your tax, you need to know that this is advanced agree disagree AC. Here you have total three choices. You can completely agree, you can completely disagree or you can partially you can partially agree or partially disagree. So you have total three options in advanced agree disagree essay. Completely agree, completely disagree or partially agree and partially disagree. In case of advanced agree disagree essay, we would always tell students to partially agree in first body paragraph and partially disagree in your second body paragraph. You be, this essay type is one of the essay type that has been commonly seen in IELTS examination. So make sure you prepare it wisely. Let, so let's understand the difference between basic agree disagree essay and advanced agree disagree essay. So in basic, the tax will tell you do you agree or disagree. You can either agree or disagree. But in advanced, the tax will tell you to what extent do you agree or disagree. How much? To what extent means how much do you agree or disagree where you can say i completely agree or you can say i completely disagree or you can also say i somehow agree but i also disagree you can show partiality in advance of your disagree which you cannot show in basic one are you clear now we are going to see some examples of the five types of ac questions and just by looking at the question you must be able to recognize out of the five types of aces which ac type you have got on the screen the first one is space exploration costs taxpayers an exorbitant amount of money each year. What are the advantages and disadvantages of spending money on space exploration? There are two types of advantages and disadvantages AC. This time the tax is telling us what are the advantages and disadvantages. It is directly asking us our advantage and disadvantage. It means that this is basic advantage disadvantage AC where we need to give two advantages and two disadvantages done. But you might also get advanced advantage disadvantage AC, which would look like this. If the tax tells you do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, it means this is advanced advantage disadvantage AC, where you should not be balancing your body paragraph. It is asking you which one is more. You can either give two disadvantages and one advantage, or you can give two advantages and one disadvantage. This is advanced advantage disadvantage AC. Let's move on to the next AC type. That is problem and solution AC. Let's suppose this is our question and the coach tax is asking us what are the negative impacts of playing computer games and what can be done to mim minimize this effect. So ne negative impact means what are the problems and how can we minimize this means what are the solution. This is problem and solution AC type. Let's move on to the third AC type. This is discussion AC where you are provided two views in the question and on the tax, you can see, discuss both point of view and give your opinion. If you see, if they are asking your opinion, this is not opinion AC. You are just supposed to provide your opinion in introduction. Although this is 
or discussion essay because the tax is telling discuss both point of views it is discussion essay where you need to discuss one view in your first body paragraph second view in your second body paragraph let's move on to the next essay type that is agree or disagree essay basic agree disagree essay will tell you directly do you agree or disagree either you can completely agree or you can completely disagree but in advance agree disagree essay it will tell you to what extent or how much do you agree or disagree where you can either say i completely agree i completely disagree or i partially agree and i also partially disagree we would encourage students to choose partiality in advance agree disagree essay now let's move on to the last essay type this is known as direct question where the tax will directly ask you why or what or in this question type you get to see two parts of the same question we have one question success is often measured by wealth and material possessions this is our main question now we have two tax first tax is do you think wealth is the best measure of success second tax is what makes a successful person here we have two parts for the same question and it is also directly asking us this is known as direct question or two part question i hope you guys are clear with the five types of essays i hope you have got a clear understanding about the five essay types that you might get in your examination now stay tuned for the rest of the videos till then bye stay safe